As the University of Virginia continues to mourn the death of student Yardley Love, new details regarding the murder suspect, George Hughley, are surfacing. A police officer from nearby Lexington says she was forced to taser the 22-year-old lacrosse player a year and a half ago when he got violent after leaving a fraternity party. Uh, he was very aggressive with me. I knew that he was really intoxicated that night due to the fact that he didn't even realize that a woman had arrested him um, and he didn't even know that he had been tased that night. Hughley pleaded guilty to two charges, was put on six months of probation and given a 60-day sentence which was suspended. I was shocked to say the least when I found out that, that he was involved in this incident. Authorities discovered Love's body Monday morning. Investigators say Hughley told them he and Love had a fight and that he kicked in her bedroom door. He went on to say he shook the 22-year-old woman and repeatedly hit her head against a wall. There were uh, obvious physical injuries to her body, uh, which prompted them to immediately secure the crime scene. Police have charged Hughley with first-degree murder in Love's death. According to an affidavit, Love had a large bruise on her face, one eye was swollen shut, and there was a pool of blood on her pillow. Hughley appeared before a judge Tuesday. His parents wouldn't comment as they left the courthouse, but his attorney had this to say. We are confident that Ms. Love's death was not intended, but an accident with a tragic outcome. In the meantime, George is withdrawing from the University of Virginia and remains in the custody of the authorities. Both Hughley and Love played lacrosse all four years of college, and they attended separate prep schools in Maryland before that. The University of Virginia Athletic Department says grief counselors have been provided for both the men's and women's lacrosse teams. Tim McGuire, the Associated Press.